Years again of OMF literature in the Philippines. We've already covered trust, mutual respect, and collaboration in the editor-author partnership. Let's now look at communication. The editor-author relationship works best when communication between both sides is clear, kind, and honest. Clear and transparent communication from the start of the editing process helps avoid misunderstandings and unnecessary tension. What do we need to communicate clearly with the author? First, communicate the publication goals. Assure the author that you and your publisher want to produce a book that is excellent, both in content and quality. Be clear on the purpose of the book and the target market. Second, communicate clear expectations. Let the author know that he or she can expect you to help achieve her vision and not to change it. That you will make sure that the manuscript is readable and flows from beginning to end. And that you will give honest feedback and constructive advice to improve the manuscript. Explain what the author is expected to do. To revise the manuscript as needed. He cannot hand over the work of revising to you. To follow the style guide for the book. To secure the necessary permissions. And to submit the deliverables on the deadlines that have been set. Clarify with the author what he has a say in and what he doesn't. As the author, he has the final say on the suggestions that he will make. But it's the publisher that decides the publication date. Does the author have a say on the book design and book cover? What will be his involvement in marketing the book? Communicate these matters to the author at the outset. Third, explain the publication process. Also inform the author if the manuscript will be handed over to another editor for copy editing, backup editing, etc. But assure him that you are overseeing the entire editing process. Help the author understand that you are also working with other authors, all of whom, like him, are priorities to you and your publisher. Fourth, agree on a timeline, but be realistic with the schedules and deadlines for deliverables. And fifth, agree on how and how often you will communicate. Through regular meetings or through email only? Can he call you after office hours and vice versa? How about on weekends and holidays? One more piece of advice, listen actively. Encourage the author to be open about his concerns and questions on any aspect of the book project. Probe on the matters that seem to worry him. Be sensitive to nonverbal cues and the communication style of the author. Friends, Going through the long process of editing a book can be difficult both for the editor and the author. To make it pleasant and productive, we can always stand on the building blocks of trust, mutual respect, collaboration, and communication. May we all be a blessing to the authors we've been called to serve.